Hello everybody, welcome to Tag Team Friday, this is Jack Ravi. So today we'll be creating this tag and we'll play with transparencies using wax. So the first thing you'll need is a photograph. I've taken this one from the Instant Ancestors 2 bundle. Then I have the same cabinet card printed on thicker card twice, the same one, and I've already cut it out so they, they match perfectly when combined. I've also printed a couple of pages of script from the script ephemera bundle. Then you'll need a glue of your choosing. I'm using Mod Podge with a brush, some tape, some ribbon, some into punch holes and eyelets. And then for the waxing I have some beeswax pellets. If you don't have that, an easy alternative is a candle and then with a little knife you just shave off just ever so slightly to get thin bits of um, wax. You really don't need that much so you can really easily get enough wax just by shaving off the, a little bit of a candle without having to buy a bag of beeswax. You will also need some wax paper, some protective paper I've got some foil and then I have a little foam cover to protect my table and an iron. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to make this paper a little bit thinner, just get rid of a little bit of the white behind. And the way that I do that is with a little bit of tape, this is just normal cellar tape. I just press it down. And then peel off and what that does is removes a little bit of the pulp of the paper so now I'm ready to wax my papers so I've layered my foam on top of my desk then some just some scrap paper my wax paper and then my two photos. So at this point I just sprinkle a little bit of the pellets or the beeswax or the candle wax, whatever wax you have. Just making sure that it's sort of evenly distributed and from experience less is more. So you can always add more if it needs but it's easier to add than to remove it if it's too much wax. So at this point I take my foil, I put it on top and then I take my hot iron and I just gently press Then I can check the progress by lifting. And I can see that this is already um, all melted. I could go in and add a couple of beads here, but this will most likely be covered by the frame. So I'm not too concerned about that. So now my two images have become translucent. And so when they are combined, you can see through. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bind them together and I just use wax for that so the remaining wax will bind them with heat. So I just find a positioning that I like. Cover again and just press them. So now I can take my cabinet card and see what I want the positioning to be. I mark it and cut within that line. Then I take my glue 
my brush and put some glue. And so far I found that you can glue waxed paper Then I put glue on the other one. So that the image is clear on the front, but the writing is clearer on the back. But you can still see her through. Then I mark the middle. Push an eyelet through and press it and then you want to push your ribbon through. So for the ribbon I decided to mix two things that are quite different. One is um, a little piece of twine that's a little bit more rough with um, some lace. And this is my final tag. I hope you have a go at this. Thank you for joining me.